Hey, what's up you workaholics? This video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to remove work days from your work days list. So right now we're working Monday through Saturday and okay, honestly, I probably do that sometimes even more, but in, re in reality, we should probably cut that down. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking days out using a really cool method. Check it out. All right, so we'll print work days before and then after we print it, we're gonna say work days dot remove and this is gonna take the element you want to remove. So in this situation, you need to know what the data is exactly for it to be removed properly. So you can say remove and type in, let's say we want to take Saturday off like so, and then we'll print work days after as well. So let's run this and see the output. Here it is at first, we got Monday through Saturday, and then we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday through Friday. So that's cool, and with this method, when you say workdays.remove and put the left parentheses, you can see this little arrow here in Visual Studio Code with this IntelliSense pop-up window thingamajig. It says none, and that means it doesn't return any data. I will be talking about an alternative in the next method, but for now, just know the data is lost into the nether. That's where it goes. Another alternative is to use an operator. So what that's gonna look like is you say del and then you say work days and you use slicing. So what do you wanna get rid of? Now we can do it by index. So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five. So we can pass in a five here and run this and it works the same way. The cool thing here though, is you don't actually have to know what the data is. So there's different scenarios in which you might wanna use one. If you have the data and you want to remove that exact data, but you're not sure where it is, you can just say dot remove, pass that data in and poof, it's gone. If instead you know what position you wanna remove, but you don't necessarily want to put that exact data in or you don't know what it is, then you would use del and pass in the index. So now what I wanna do is teach you another method that will actually return the data you're trying to remove so you could save it for later or do something with it if you would like. So stay tuned for the next video and it should be pretty fun.